friends. Do you know what time it is? Well, it is almost hatching time. We're getting closer. But it's also math carpet time. Yay! Let's take a look at our calendar. We're kind of getting near the end of May here, aren't we? So yesterday we had a 25. So today we'll have a 26. Absolutely. And um, so we had two flat shapes already this week. Flat, flat. Then we had a solid, so this one should be a solid, exactly, because it always goes flat, flat, solid, solid, flat, flat, solid, solid. But what's the color? Huh. Well, I guess we'll have to read the pattern. Here we go. Purple, yellow, green, blue. Green, blue, purple, yellow. Purple, yellow, green, blue, green, blue, purple, yellow. Purple, yellow, green, blue, green, blue, purple, yellow, purple, yellow. So a yellow solid shape. <clears throat> hmm. Could it be a square? No, because that's not a solid shape. But it could be a rectangular prism. Absolutely, because that is a solid shape. So let's put that in next to our cone here. And we'll see that it is Wednesday, May 26th, 2021. Let's go say hi to Rocco Raccoon. Hi, Rocco. How are you doing? You're really excited. You think you saw a crack in one of the eggs. Well, Rocco, we still have a few days to go. If you see a crack now, that's not a good thing. Right. If you see a crack now... Um, that means we're going to have scrambled eggs. Yeah, that's not so good. No, we, we don't want them to crack yet. Well, they're not quite done. Right. They have to go it all the way ready and to be a chick. Mm-hmm, on the inside. A few more days. Yeah, we'll ask Patrick here in a minute. All right, so what would you like to count by? By twos. All right, well, let's count by twos with Rocco Raccoon. Help us out. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six. 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, <clears throat> 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100. There, we did it. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I agree. Would you like to put your cube in? Let's do it. Ta-da. There. Except now we don't need a 7. We need to get rid of the 7. There we go. And put... Yeah, the number eight, right? Here we go. Eight. That makes 158. Let's give that a count. That's a big number. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, 156, 157, 158. Rocco, do you know how many days till we get to put another tens rod? Yeah. Look, I think our friends are holding up the number of fingers. Look, can you see? Only two more days, because eight, nine, ten. Two more days. Yeah, almost as exciting as the hatching. I agree. Hi, Timothy. How are you doing? 
you're waiting for the time to hatch. Well, it's not quite time to hatch yet. Yeah, I, I've got to ask Patrick, but I think we've got a little bit more time. Yeah. So, um, do you want to tell time with us? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That'll help us pass the time, right? Here we go. All right, are you happy with that? Just a little bit more. Okay, all right, now you're good? Okay. Timothy Tiger says, what time is it? Oh, well, just a minute. Let's talk about it. So our minute hand is down here in the 30 position, right? And our hour hand, well, it's between the 7 and the 8. So the hour hand's been going around the clock. It went past the 6, past the 7. Has it gotten to the 8 yet? No, not yet. So it's still hanging out here in 7 land. So it's 7.30. All right, how do we write that? Huh, yeah, I think you're right. I think we do need a 7. All right, and then, uh, dot, dot, and then 30, 3 and a 0. Okay, how's that look? 7.30? Timothy Tiger, our friends here, say it is 7.30. Excellent job, he says. Well, fantastic. So, would you like to set the clock for us again? Yeah, it's a great way to pass the time. I, I agree. All right. Well, come on down here then. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Okay. Well, I think this one's a challenging one. All right. You ready? Okay. Timothy Tiger says, what time is it? Oh, boy. Okay, just a minute, Timothy. Remember, don't panic. So, our minute hand is not in the o'clock position. It's not in the 30 position. What do we do? Count by fives. Okay, let's count by fives. So we start here. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Okay, so it's something 55. Do you notice it's almost to the o'clock? It's almost something o'clock. Now this is pointing to the 2. So is it 2.55? Almost 3 o'clock? Hmm, huh. that doesn't make sense because it's nowhere near the 3. Oh, I see. It's almost to the 2. It's just at the edge. You, can you see that? It's pointing right at the edge of one land. It's gone past the one. It's almost to the two. Almost. Because it's almost to the o'clock. It's almost to two o'clock. So it's 1.55. Wow, that took a lot of thought. How do we write that? Well, we need a one, yeah. Okay, and then, oh, a dot, dot. It's a time, so it's got to have the dot, dot, right? And then, oh, yeah, 55. Five and a five. Well, that makes sense. 55. Does that work? Okay. Timothy Tiger, I believe we have determined it is 155. It was really challenging. Yeah, we really had to think hard about that one. Well, are you going to tell us if we did a good job or not? He says, well, of course you did a good job. Well, then what's the problem? Oh, you thought you gave us a really hard one. You thought we wouldn't be able to get it. Hmm. Well, leave it to us first graders. We can do it. We didn't panic. We just counted by fives. All was well. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, how smart first graders are. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. But I'm glad you gave us a nice challenging one. It gave our brains a good workout today, right? Absolutely. 
Yeah, thank you. So what are you going to do next? You're going to go watch the clock. Why are you watching the clock? To see what time the eggs hatch. Oh, well, Timothy, it's not today. Yeah, you might have to watch for a couple more days. Okay. Well, yeah, it's going to go around. Yeah, time keeps going. So I guess you could watch the clock until the eggs hatch, but don't forget to eat. Okay. Thank you, Timothy. Hi, Patrick. How are you? Doing good? I see you've got your chart here. Wonderful. Oh, my goodness. This is... This is getting way down to the, like, the last few days here. I'm crossing off that day. And um, so what day are we on here? Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Wow, this is a 21-day project, so we're on day 20. We're almost there. Wow. You know, Patrick, I think it's really time to get the brooder ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. we got to put chick chips in. Mm-hmm. we got to turn on the light. Mm-hmm. Definitely get some water. Oh, you're right. I don't even know if we have any chick food. Yeah, I better go get some, because chick food would be kind of important, don't you think, friends? Might be kind of important. Well, do you have an egg for us? Oh, it's right back here? Oh, you're right. It is right back here. All right, well, let's see what our chicks look like today. Oh, my goodness, they've gotten really big. Look at this. And kind of fluffy. How about that? Ah, looks like it's really ready to come out of the egg. Wow. Our chicks have gone from being just a little blob to being a chick with feathers and wings and beaks and feet and everything. That is so cool, Patrick. I'm so glad you brought these eggs for us. That is really cool. Well, you know what? Today's kind of an important day because a few days before the eggs hatch, we have to do an important job. Yeah, um, no, no, I get it. We have to shop for chick feed, and yeah, we have to get them some water. And yeah, I've already got chick chips, yeah, right. No, no, I know we have to do all that, but there's something we have to do with eggs. Yeah, we have to, we have to get the eggs out of the egg turner. Right, because we don't want the eggs to hatch while they're in the egg turner because the, the chicks could, like, get stuck in the egg turner. You know, it's really good for the eggs to get turned during, you know, the 21 days. But toward the end, we don't want them to stay in the egg turner, you know, because the egg turner is the thing that kind of turns them very slowly one way and then very slowly the other way and then very slowly back like that. But... If they hatch, we don't want them to get stuck in it because they could get hurt. So we have to take the eggs out of the egg turner. Yes, it's a very delicate job. Absolutely. So um, I think I better get to it. Uh-huh. Do you want to help? Perfect. Let's do that now. So we're ready. We've got the incubator. And I'm going to take the top off here. Ooh, nice and warm in there. You can see the eggs look just like they have for the past 20 days. So I'm going to very quickly take them out. And I'm going to put them right down here on the floor where there's carpet so that they will be soft and gently held on the carpet. Trying to go kind of quickly because they shouldn't be out of their nice warm incubator that long. But on the other hand, I don't want to drop any. 
because that would be very, very bad. Okay, 16 eggs out. And here's the egg turner that's been turning them all this time. We're going to get rid of that. Down here in the bottom, you can see all these spots where there's we put the water in to keep them nice and hydrated. Looks like they need some more water in there. Okay, now we're going to put them back on the screen. Now, if there was a mommy hen, of course, she would be turning her eggs all the time with her beak. She would have them rolling from time to time, but of course, we don't have a mommy hen. And I don't sit on eggs, because I'd probably smush them. So we'll get all of our little eggy friends back in here. There we go. We're going to cover them back up and we'll get them all plugged back in so they can be nice and warm and enjoy their last couple days in the incubator till they hatch and then it'll be the next step for them. So while we're waiting and they're sleeping, you have a happy counting day.